with the few minutes that we have I pray that as we stretch in prayer trusting him to bring deliverance trusting him to bring healing that at the end of this service nobody will walk empty in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you have fought for food at physical weddings that carry no power you fought and insisted you must carry the cabbage the rice the chicken I have children at home you ate ate again sat down change your table to eat the next one and carry to go I'm just joking with you <laughs> amen but here you don't need to change your table it will keep going round if you miss it it comes again if you miss it it comes again those outside if you miss it it comes again in the name of Jesus Christ rise up on your feet I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted begin to pray in the spirit thanking God for the word tonight and declaring that you are receiver someone pray someone pray someone pray, someone pray. all the overflows pray our family connecting online connecting by way of television go ahead and pray Salibarasco prenda ke bela kash kate bas, ebra kate pe kate bela kato soto pre kate bas. Take a minute and invest in the spirit. Be a sower tonight, sowing into the spirit. Shebele ke paratos ya daba, a feast of hard things, a feast of the spirit. An expression of the love and the power of God in the midst of his people we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight we receive tonight come on someone pray from the depth of your heart we're in a season where God is taking men to new dimensions new season in ministry a new season in my life a new season in business season of plenty season of increase season of fire season of power in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray we have but a few minutes and we're going to be as fast as we can ladies and gentlemen let your hearts be open he's called you and he never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain I'm going to begin to minister by the Spirit and hopefully at the end of it I will invite God's servant Reverend Sam to just speak over 
alive since he's here I believe in the corporate anointing just to make prophetic declarations hallelujah today will be one day you will not forget in a hurry in the name of Jesus Christ so you sit back fasten your seat belts allow me do my thing you have believed that's your own so you just leave me and God to do the rest your own you have believed you've done your own hallelujah get out of our way you just stand be ready to receive and leave me and God together hallelujah but one thing I assure you of is my God will surprise you every word that comes remember you have been taught don't be careless receive it with your heart hallelujah and I'm going to start by ministering deliverance of people and the moment I'm done we'll pray for the sick and we'll hopefully take testimony I'm seeing my footballer people don't worry my friend you put down your boots there I'm going to pray for you these guys really mean business these footballers I think they've seen what God is doing and it's better than going to idols is that not true? Hallelujah. All right, so before you shout, I want you to bring those who will come under the anointing. You don't need to do anything. You just listen to the instruction. This is what God is putting in my heart. And this category of people who will be coming out now by the Spirit as I'm speaking, and, and ushers, please, will, will make that very fast. This category of people who will be coming out right now they are not coming out just for themselves i'm seeing in the spirit that there these are families that have been tied because i'm seeing chains around the legs of people this has made people immobile they are not able to make destiny progress and god wants to visit people now the time will come i will ask you to shout but for now i'm just going to make that declaration and then i want you to please bring those people out in the name of jesus christ father thank you you have revealed this and every time you reveal it is so that you will redeem every one of the people that i've seen in this vision right now i declare by the spirit of grace let that yoke leave now bring them out in the name of jesus you will not be able to stand it no this is we're talking of the great power of god this is authority in the spirit please bring them out tied by darkness your redemption comes and it comes speedily comes speedily this is koinonia please come hallelujah oh my help has come oh please bring them the influence of that word you will not be able to stand it if you if you are part of this prophecy the hand of God is coming upon you everyone who has been immobilized 
by life, by destiny, by witchcraft. This grace is coming upon you. And the Lord is bringing deliverance right now. To everything there is an end. Surely there is an end. Please bring them out. If I were you, I will be praying that everything that has held me down, that I will not make progress in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, it must give way tonight. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a vision. Please listen. There is such power in this place. And in that vision, I'm seeing like the door of a prison. And I'm just seeing a hand turning a key. And I'm seeing the number 27. 27. I want to pray right now. Every family that has been locked, kept in bondage, I come in the name of Jesus Christ. At the count of three, I decree and declare. As that, if it's happening in the spirit, in the name of Jesus, that grace will rest upon you. Father, I stretch my hands as you have revealed to me everyone whose life and destiny has been caged. Every family that has been caged right now at the count of three be released. One, two, three. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. I open that prison door now by the authority of the Spirit. I open that prison door now. Bring them out. Let me pray. I just saw something for those in the overflow outside. Let me speak to those outside. I'm going to come to those inside, all the overflows, but those outside, in the name of Jesus, I want you to bring the people out right now, outside. I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is revealing something to me that there are people, watch this. I'm seeing a woman in the Spirit with a child. Then she keeps losing the child. This is not physical. This is spiritual. There are people who have carried things but they've been losing it. Outside, I'm stretching my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Everyone who is a victim of that, be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now. Outside. Just the outside overflow. This is what God is revealing. I decree and declare. Everyone aborting destiny. Aborting visions. Losing things you should carry. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That spirit of loss and waste. Is hereby destroyed in Jesus name. Hi, 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 hi. Glory be to God. Say, I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. to pray the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness listen there is fire that is burning here and many many people many many people you will not escape this I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus once and as you pray one of the things that God is visiting is curses that create patterns curses that create patterns of failure curses that create patterns of setback are you ready to shout that name father i'm praying in the name of jesus that as we shout that name that is above every name every family repetitive patterns patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of destruction let it give way right now are you ready koinonia one two three shout jesus i release you now I release you now. 
I release you now. I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Negative patterns, negative circles, tying your life, tying your family, tying everything concerning your destiny. Bring them out. I release you. Mother, father, be released. Sister, brother, be released. From the north, the south, the east, the west. In the name of Jesus, be released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit, rebuke the spirit of disfavor. This is the spirit responsible for shame and reproach. I taught last week that word Ichabod. Jabez was named Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. But the man got angry one day and said, Lord, oh that thou wouldest bless me. I want to pray. The spirit that brings shame, shame in relationships, shame in career, shame in ministry. I'm praying right now. Anyone who has been a victim of shame and disfavor, be delivered now. 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 I prophesy to you, be delivered now. The Bible says, and my people shall never be ashamed. Shall never be ashamed. Shall never be ashamed. I'm hearing the name Becky. Becky. I'm sure that may be a short form of Rebecca. Becky, who is that person? You are tying, you are wearing a cloth the same color with the, what you are tying on your head. Becky. Becky, please, when you find the person. Becky. If I give a prophetic word, Please don't just rush and come out because you are desperate. If it's not for you, just believe. I don't have to prophesy directly to you. Are we together? Yours is just to believe. Becky, in the name of Jesus, the person I'm seeing, well, I will pray. Hallelujah. Just come and stand here. No, no, my, relax, be patient. God has located you already, so you don't need to come and just be rolling on the floor. In the name of Jesus Christ, Becky, the Lord is showing me. I want to pray for someone here. The devil has been using your face and people have been seeing you in their dreams as an evil person. Like he uses your face. I'm praying. I just saw I kept quiet because God was speaking to me on that. They you people go to bed and then they see your face causing destruction. They wake up believing that maybe you are involved in witchcraft. I don't know who that person is, but I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is turning, giving a negative identity in the spirit. Before I come to the Beckys, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from it now. Hallelujah. Becky, I want to pray for you. Please look at me. You see, when God speaks a word like this, it is because he wants to bring you deliverance. Not everybody is playing games. I want you to believe there is authority in the prophetic word. Hallelujah. And once he calls you, even if he does not tell you anything, the fact that he has called you and you have come, you believe that you never come into his presence and go back the same. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. There is a gentleman here. I need to pray for you. Your brother is in jail. Your brother is in jail. As I speak now, he's in prison. He's in jail. And I want to pray because it is a spirit. This, this is a spirit of misfortune, bad luck, all kinds of evil things keep happening in the, to the people in your family. Now, I want to pray. Two of you in front here. The power of God is coming on you now. I just saw fire on two of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, as that grace rests on you, two of you in front here, 
in the name of Jesus I'm declaring unto you that every limitation in your life you just keep them gently let it go father you called out Becky I'm praying whatever it is that is a covenant that is sponsoring witchcraft in these families I declare by the fire of the Holy Spirit let it give way now let it give way now let it give way now I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free right now you will never 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 return to this calamity again in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone your brother is in jail your brother is in prison this is what I'm seeing whether you are falling online or outside please don't tell lies make sure that you understand what I'm saying don't just come and stand emotionally make sure that this is true I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus where is he where is your brother he is in Sokoto he is Sokoto. soldier yes sir. he's a soldier yes sir but he's in prison yes sir he is in Gadurum since six months ago no don't worry I want to pray for you do you believe that God will bring him out yes sir I believe you too my friend yes sir my brother is in jail the lady too yes sir your brother yes sir father you are a god of mercy in as much as we do not truncate law and order we know that in the realm of the spirit mercy triumphs over judgment because you have revealed in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over these precious ones lord they will come and stand on this altar and they will testify that you have been this good in the name of jesus we introduce the mercy of God across systems and structures and we pray especially for those who were wrongly put in prison I hope you know prison a prison is where both good and bad people meet don't judge anybody you see in prison you may be talking about Joseph the prison and the cross are two mysterious places anybody you see on the cross don't judge because you may be talking about Jesus there are people on the cross who are not dying for their sins there are people in the prison who are not suffering for their sins these are two mysterious places when you see people in the prison and you see people on the cross yours is to pray because three people were on the cross two were victims of their calamities but one was there as a savior there were many people three people again were recorded in scripture the wine presser the baker and joseph the two were there justly but joseph was there as a deliverer in the making so the prison is a mysterious place it's where both good and bad people meet but I'm praying for you because God has brought you out here let the power of the Holy Spirit I use you as a point of contact to your loved ones every power that is bringing this satanic oppression over this family let it come to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone from January till now you have lost three jobs you got three jobs and you lost all the jobs three jobs and all of them have left I'm not talking of something that somebody said come and manage you got a job and you still lost it three what I'm seeing in the spirit I want to pray for you and I'm using you to pray for every other person what is the spirit that makes you lose things that when good things enter your hand they don't stay can I pray for you koinonia in the name of Jesus Christ you got three jobs and lost them in Abuja here what was the last job last month sir. where in Abuja Jabi here sir. what job was that driving job sir. driving but I'm a BSC holder sir. but you are a BSC you're holder. a BSC holder I'm going to pray for you don't feel bad um, the most important thing is that God lifts you there is nothing that is done with the dignity of kingdom integrity are we together now it is better to drive with honor even if you're a graduate than to steal to kill and to destroy and let me say this here anybody who wants to come around your family this onslaught I'm going to be praying some serious prayers kidnapping and asking people to bring ransom a family that is still trying to feed and they just come and pack someone and say bring ransom 10 million 5 million and they enter for some families if they get into a debt of 2 million that is a transgenerational debt 
because with the state of that family even in 10 years they will not be able to pay and yet in one week they can they have to cough out that money i'm praying for you any programming of darkness to stop you and will lay you on the road or to come to your house and kidnap people or cause trouble i call upon the god of vengeance in the name of jesus may he visit the wicked may he visit the wicked for those of you who are in front here i stretch my hands towards you and in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare you had jobs and you lost when god gives he retains he keeps i'm praying for you in the name of jesus for your shame according to scripture receive double for your shame oh i release grace on you receive double in the name of jesus christ everyone say after me father shout it say father let my portion in life and destiny locate me now go ahead and pray let my portion god is a god of portions please open your mouth and pray let my portion that allotment for me in life and destiny extend that prayer to your children let my portion in life let my portion in destiny locate me let my portion in life my portion in destiny locate me someone pray in your prayer is your miracle in your prayer is your miracle let my portion let my portion locate me by the spirit of grace hallelujah now hear me hear me god is a god of portions that means it is never god's idea for you to be a slave under someone forever you can start and learn but eventually god gives you your space it's called rehoboth god has given up and this also means territorial establishment are we together now yes for a time period you are allowed to stay in a place that is not your own but with time when the god of portion visits you this is what happened to jacob jacob was in the house of laban it was not supposed to be forever but laban used divination and found out that joseph had been that um jacob it was because of jacob's presence he was increasing and he refused to let jacob go change wives did all change his wages and kept that man for over 20 years anybody coming in the spirit of laban to not allow you have your space in life and destiny stopping that word Rehoboth from becoming your reality you dig a well and the Philistines come to cover it you dig a well and they come to cover it may my God give you your space in life in destiny in your home in your business I say it again the God of portions may he give you your own space Do you believe this prayer now look at me please when Jesus was about to have what we call the triumphant entry the Bible tells us that he sent his disciples he said go to a street whose roads divide watch this you will see a colt tied there that no man including the owner had ridden on there are people who are caretakers of certain things it is not for them it was supposed to pass through them but the spirit of Laban says it will not pass it will remain I pray for you anyone carrying any cult that you should use for your triumphant entry triumphant entry in business in marriage in family in ministry and is refusing to allow that cult get to you I pray for you may it be released now May it be released now. Go to a street whose a road whose streets divide, and you will see a cold. There are monies God gave men that is not for them. He made them prosper unusually in the business, not because of their transactional prowess. He knew that somebody 
there are people today who have built properties they don't know why that property is not just claiming people's things this is not what i'm saying listen please look up let me teach you something there are two ways god blesses people he blesses people by making you abraham or he blesses you by making you lot are we together not everyone will receive the mandate directly from god but everyone can be the partaker of the mandate if you are lot and you are trying to prosper by being abraham you will die hungry god called abraham but lord said i can still partake of it are we together now so you need to know whether you are abraham or lot if you are abraham your mandate is to be faithful with what you have received because there is a lot who is at the mercy of your obedience if you are lot you must discern so that you do not break the relationship with abraham because your prosperity is tied to your discernment the first decision Lot took outside of Abraham's influence landed him in Sodom and Gomorrah. That means his prosperity was not a function of his wisdom. He was under a grace of Abraham. Hear what I'm telling you. There are many of you who, if God is to allow you learn all the business principles by yourself and start prospering, it may be till 20, 30 before you prosper. But he brings you after the order of lot it is one of the ways he redeems time by giving men favor because it takes time to learn the genuine secrets that produce lasting wealth and the truth is that there are people who have gotten born again late before they now begin to learn these principles a woman of 70 years where is she going to learn 25 principles for prosperity she's made the mistake she did not maximize destiny but is God still a God of mercy? So God will bring Abraham to her. And she needs to have the wisdom of Lot. If you are Abraham, I am telling you, be faithful in hearing God. Because Lot, there are many Lots that are depending on your obedience. But if you are Lot, swallow your pride and honor Abraham. Because if you fight with Abraham, that is the end of your prosperity. The same Abraham that fought with Lot was the one who had to come and save Lot. And even in doing that, he lost his wife. You know what it means to lose your wife? The basis for your productivity. Pharaoh said, let the men go, but the women and children should remain. That means the men would die of old age, of natural cause, and there would not be a transgenerational, there would not be continuity. Are we together? Please listen to what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you prophetically. There are some of you right now, by the mercy of God, and because of the covenant God had with your parents, instead of taking 10 years to start learning the principles, the truth is that time has gone. You already have five children. Before you learn all the rudiments, so what God does as an act of his mercy is he will let you hear when he's speaking to Abraham. As Abraham moves, you come as Lot provided you can be faithful a day will come you will not even know who god spoke to and who god or who is following the mistake do you know the trouble between abraham and lord started from their men not them their men train the people around you to know why the anointing is in your life so that they do not you don't lose the anointing and lose favor i don't know why the spirit of god is speaking this through me i'm speaking to the entire globe listen to me there are people right now the reason why you will lose favor is because of your children you have not taught your children that the church god planted you in is the reason why god is honoring them and you are watching them dishonor the vessel that god is using to lift you learn from lot remember lot's wife but remember lot too two of them have a story to tell are we together now know when you are abraham and know when you are lot not everybody will be abraham you can look onto abraham but not everybody will be abraham there are people today god has granted them an unusual grace they can sit down where they are every year. They can have opportunity to give up to 30 people jobs. And because of your relationship with them, out of those 30 slots, they will give you 3-3 three, three every year. Make sure you don't fight these kind of people. Because the day that happens, 
that up, it will be the day your child now just graduates from school and is ready for a job and that door is closed. I pray for someone, whatever has taken you away from the blessing of Abraham as Lot, may my God, who is your God, bring restoration. May my God, who is your God, bring restoration. And if you are Abraham, I'm praying for you. The grace to stay until what God says manifest. May it happen for you. May that grace rest on you. So that all the lots connected to you will not wait in vain because of your disobedience. And Lot went with him. That was the wisest thing Lot did. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. And Lot went with him. When it was time for God to help the Ethiopian eunuch, he encouraged the servant Philip. He said, join this chariot for the sake of the man. Join this chariot. If you leave this man alone, confusion will kill him. If you leave this man alone, he will never be saved. Join this chariot. Can I tell you? Beware of the people God brings in your life. There are destructive people I taught you, but there are people who are gifts. When you see other people joining your chariot, discern. If it's God that has sent them there, respect their presence. It's not idleness that brought them. God sent them to your chariot so that you will understand the interpretation of what you are reading. You have opened the book of your destiny, but you cannot understand it. So God sends them to join the chariot. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I pray for the sick now? Please lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe. Do you know, Reverend Sam, I got to find out that there are four, I've discerned that there are four diseases that the devil is bringing to destroy people in the body of Christ. It didn't used to be an issue but it, the church seems to be keeping quiet over it and if we do not arise and pray number one is called cancer cancer thank god for the research that is being done in medicine but we need to pray and upgrade our levels of graces so that we can bring to end this this demonic thing that is killing people i know many people sadly who have died in the last two or three months because of this satanic thing. One time, I think it was a, some, maybe it's a few months ago, I was praying for people and then this beautiful young lady, seven years, this little girl, swollen by that devilish thing. You would think it is old people, but now seven years, what did the girl do? Satan for you. Cancer. Cancer. Number two, that I want us to pray for is Satan is beginning to creep and he's fighting the next generation in the church and he's using the tool of infertility. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not a doctor, but there are many people who are all right. It is because of the coming of John that Elizabeth is suffering. It has nothing to do with Elizabeth. Even though later we know that it is God's plan so that John will come just shortly after Jesus and not be discouraged. But all the same, infertility. You will see somebody who is all right, wife all right. Are we together? Or she will take in and then here comes this demonic, satanic, familiar spirit. An encounter. And we think it does not matter. I don't want to, you see, territorial advancement and preserving the purposes of God is transgenerational. Every time Satan begins to fight continuity, there is a goal, there is an agenda. I speak in parables. It's important for you to be discerning. The next 10 years with this onslaught of infertility on the church is going to deplete the strength of believers to a point where we will go back to Egypt and become slaves. This thing is a strategy and we must pray. Number three, Every madman Jesus saw in the Bible, he healed the person. There was one sickness Jesus did not tolerate. There were other sicknesses, some were healed, but madness was not one of it. To the point that Jesus crossed over 
to heal one person and return back. A madman in Gadara. This thing called mental health. It's creeping gradually in Nigeria. It's not too much. But in Europe, America, you see children and they tell you mental health. Someone can pick a, a, a knife, kill himself, kill the mother, and begin to act. I mean, the stress that families, especially in Europe and US, are going through because of mental health. You have four children, and three of them are almost like madmen. You literally leave your destiny and you are focused at managing them. Every time you see distraction away from purpose, it is Satan's strategy. When the nation of Israel were serving the Lord, he said it is because they have straw. Stop giving them straw so that they will be busy looking for straw and they will not have the time to serve the Lord. This is number three. Are we together now? This is very important. The fourth one is not sickness per se like health but is the spirit of lack and poverty. And Satan is using the strategy of borrowing. For as long as I am alive, I will never watch the church of God go down economically. It doesn't matter what people say or do not say. It is part of the mandate to help God's people with dignity and integrity, correct the errors that are around the whole teaching on wealth that brings materialism but to help God's people for God's sake to be empowered. If an unbeliever is the one training your child because of lack, that child will serve the God of that unbeliever. There is only one reason, hear me believers, why Egypt goes to, I used to say one, but I found two reasons now. There is one, there are two reasons why Israel goes to Egypt. Number one is to learn wisdom and knowledge. Number two is hunger. Are we together? Genesis 42, 1 and 2. There was hunger and Jacob spoke to his sons. He saw that there was corn, but the location was wrong. There was supply. He saw that there was money, but the man who has that money is a cultist. But I am hungry and my husband has five children. My husband has six children. And the cultist is saying, come, you will work with me. You will bow to my God and you will earn a salary of 200,000. And church people are saying, don't worry. God is faithful. Love him anyhow. And the person is getting into trouble. Give us verse 1. Media, verse 1. Genesis 42, 1. And now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he said to his sons, why do you look upon one another? Verse 2. I have heard that there is corn. The only problem is that the location is not a good place. Get thee down Tita and buy for us. Yes, I know that the man sacrifices people, but just go, we are hungry. I know that the money the man wants to give me as a man of God is blood money, but what will I do? If I don't collect it, the church will not be built. I know that you are not caught, you still bring it. The church needs to be empowered. It has become a disease. This thing called poverty. For as long as I'm alive and for as long as God gives me the privilege of leadership over this ministry, I have vowed before God and it's my covenant to you that among many things that you must carry in this destiny is the grace to live a life of dignity and honor. You believe that? Shout amen. amen. I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant at the expense of their economic empowerment. I'm committed to bringing the whole counsel of God. Among the five benefits of God is that he satisfied your mouth with good things so that your days are renewed, your youth is renewed. Let's pray for the sick now. You deserve the glory. Please lay your hands. And the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship. As I bless your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. As we lift our hands in worship, as we bless your holy name, for you are great.
someone who is sick you can lay hands on that person and we're honored to have I will always bless God for all the hospitals and the clinics that literally put these teachings during the miracle services for their patients there are literally clinics right now who are allowing either on screen or people using phones for their patients it's such an honor to be able to bring the healing power of Jesus to these places if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and I want you to believe in a healing Jesus remember part of the things available in this feast is his power to heal the Bible says the power of God was present to heal them but he only ended up healing one person I want to pray for you now believe believe only believe when I pray for you I'm going to give you instructions to check yourself when I say check yourself do it that if your neck could not move don't be afraid your feet could not move don't be afraid you came here with a walking aid don't be afraid your hands are unable to be lifted don't be afraid I will pray for you and let's see what God does tonight within the time that we have are you ready let's pray father in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we are here because we are believers. We believe in the cross. We believe in the blood of the eternal covenant that has brought eternal atonement for sin, for sickness. And Lord, we pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and ministering to your people and to the nations, many who are trusting God for all kinds of miracles in their bodies. Many of them holding death sentences this moment as medical reports many of them like the woman with the issue of blood they have spent their earnings they have spent their means of livelihood they have lost jobs because of ill health they've had many parts of their bodies deadened and weakened i'm praying right now oh god that you honor every word that comes from the lips of your servant therefore i pray every spirit my god that is the at the back of any disease any infirmity any health or mental distress i command that spirit to give way now i command that spirit to give way now in the name of jesus the son of the living god right now be healed i stretch my hands and i decree and declare your internal organs be healed now your heart be healed now brain tumors disappear now the Lord is showing me someone you have a swelling at the back of your eye this is inside but it is affecting you in the name of Jesus the power of God is healing you right now there's someone you have it is not a thyroid I don't know if it's a thyroid problem it's like goiter but um, it's inside just inside within your neck and you are having a severe discomfort it's like some kind of ulcer some injury inside you feel the pain the power of God is touching you right now every heart problem be healed now Someone is going to shout loud right now under the anointing. In the name of Jesus. God is correcting something in the body of that person. This is what I'm seeing. Every liver problem be healed now. Every damaged kidney jack back to life now. I saw this same case that I want to mention now when I was ministering at yesterday in Asaba I think it was yesterday either Asaba or Lagos I can't remember which there's someone you have a problem going to ease yourself to urinate it's like it's like you cannot pass urine freely I don't know what the name of the sickness is 
but it just comes in droplets you're not able and it's, it has severe pain this is what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus the power of God is resting on you now there's someone you are having severe ulcer severe ulcer there are wounds inside you and and I mean it you're going through all kinds of excruciating pain I decree and declare be healed now I'm seeing someone the Lord is showing me something is a very interesting thing I'm seeing you you are going through severe pain almost like stomach cramps but this happens all the time always literally you cannot lie down I'm seeing you having to hold a pillow and just to lie on it in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now now every bone condition bone conditions you are not able to walk you are not able to lift up your hands in Jesus name be healed now if you came with a neck collar or some bracelet around your neck or around your joints I decree and declare may the power of God touch you be healed now be healed now brain damage be healed now in the name of Jesus sleep apnea be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ there's a disease called insomnia in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord a miracle has happened there look at this bring her out we're still praying bring her out a miracle has happened there Jesus in the name of Jesus she's removed her neck collar give Jesus praise look at this look at this don't be distracted we're still praying check them and make sure that let's pray we're still praying in the name of Jesus Christ now I'm praying for someone I don't know what problem you are having around your rib your your um, what they call it now um, your ribs you feel severe pain you are a sickler. This person, you are a sickler. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Now, um, please don't be embarrassed by the case I'm calling. There is someone, I'm seeing the Lord heal you. You are a lady. This is not just you lactating. What is coming out is not breast milk. This is something that is dangerous. I will not say more than that. But you are having a very serious situation. You need help right now. Because with what I'm seeing, that thing is degenerating. And it's almost something that we don't want to say anything negative. But in the name of Jesus, whoever that person is, let the power of God touch you right where you are. Every shoulder pain be healed now. You came here with any walking aid and you could not walk. You are not able to move your legs. I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. I decree and declare that you begin to walk now. Let life and strength surge to your body right now. In the name of Jesus. And seeing someone, you could not lift your hands just as I'm lifting it now. But in the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Now, whether I mention your case or not, for sake of time, be healed now. Outside, be healed now. All the other overflows, be healed now. Online, be healed now. I want you to check yourself now. Begin to do what you could not do. Begin to do what you could not do. There are miracles happening. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'd like you to leave your seat right now. Let's take, even if it's two or three miracles, check yourself miracles are happening miracles are happening inside miracles are happening outside check your body bend over backwards lift your leg the moment you see that the power of god has touched you in fact the lord is showing me someone you are in the overflow outside when you came and sat down you could not see the screen clearly but as i'm speaking now i want you to look clearly you will see that the power of god has touched your right eye particularly your right eye, a miracle has happened to you. In the name of Jesus, let's celebrate them as they come. While that is happening, all the ushers, please bring for me 
the prayer requests very quickly check yourself you find out that a miracle has happened i know that our time is gone i don't want you to sit back remember what i said about testimonies let's just have even if it's two three people come let's celebrate them let's celebrate them let's celebrate them koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles those who have received miracles from outside please make your way to the front check yourself do what you could not do people are coming are you celebrating what jesus is doing all right begin to submit your prayer request too we're doing all this at the same time my god jesus is touching people um there's someone you have a severe pain at the left side of your neck i want you to check it now it was even swollen you will check and see that it's gone gone forever in the name of jesus let's take two or three testimonies very quickly yes are you ready who is ready anyone who is ready go ahead praise the lord praise the lord sorry mama was having this problem last year and mama was having what now neck problem neck problem year. yes then but today she received her healing. she's today able she to move her neck yes she can move her healing. can she hear me mama yes. move your neck look at this look at this hallelujah look at this mama is saying she hallelujah removed, someone she should removed say amen. it herself oh she, she removed it she herself, removed herself. Uh, I removed give it to her let her hold it let the devil see it mama walk mama go walk let the devil see you move your neck oh hallelujah give jesus praise my goodness hallelujah praise the name of the lord mama we pray for you by the power of the holy spirit you will go back and tell everybody in your house that you encountered jesus at koinonia in the name of jesus christ amen let's celebrate her next person yes sir praise the lord i used to have this severe pain on my waist for more than two years now more than two years yes sir then there's another pain on my knee so that standing up becomes very difficult sometimes that of my waist i have to walk like an old woman standing up i have to act like an old woman walk like this and now but now I'm very walk free. even run ah oh god of signs and wonders savior redeemer come and manifest your power did they oh did they oh help me say oh god of signs and wonders say your redeemer come and manifest your power did they oh oh god of signs oh god of signs and wonders say your redeemer come and manifest your power did they oh did they oh hallelujah we give jesus praise he will never return to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, please. Let's do justice to time very quickly. I yes, please. You gave her the knowledge of tonsillitis. She has had it for nine years. Tox let us speak. So I've had it for nine years. Nine so years. Yes. Medically verified. Yes. I was even asked to do a surgery for it. And now it turned on me. Immediately you said the word, it felt very light. I could not sing for long before. I can't shout for long. But now, like it feels very light. There's no pain at all. Shout Satan, you are a liar. Satan you're a liar come on now in the name of jesus it will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the holy spirit Amen. yes please very quickly next person you gave a word of knowledge of someone who could not urinate now he has had severe pain in his mind who oh my god very long time immediately you gave that word of knowledge the pain disappeared have you gone to check yourself Yes, I, I do treat it. I treat it, uh, but now, the pain does not left the time I treat it. I still feel the pain, but now I not completely yes, sir. in the name of Jesus, that satanic thing leaves you forever. Amen. Koinonia, are you celebrating miracles? Amen. Yes, go ahead. Next person, okay? Yes, sir. Please praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Um, the lady you mentioned with um, sickle cell. Sam, can you help us, by... please? Let's let's hear the testimony very quickly. Okay. Please make sure you are submitting your request. There are ushers with the baskets. How many of you are yet to submit your request? Please do so very quickly. Do so whilst you are listening. Yes, please go ahead. I'm the lady you mentioned with sickle cell and pain. You are the sickle cell lady. Yes, I'm having pain. the pain. Yeah, the pain was diagnosed as um, gallstone, kidney gallstone. Kidney gallstone. Yes. When you started the prayer, I felt the pain, but right now I can't feel it anymore. Completely. Check yourself. Check yourself. It's gone. Don't cry. 
Come and manifest your power. Dideo, Dideo. Manifest your power. Dideo, Dideo. You manifest your hey. power. Dideo, Dideo. Young lady, look at me. Don't cry. Many of you may never know what it means to be a sickler, number one. And then to have these kinds of situations i'm praying for you not only that god has healed this but may he do a miracle on your genotype in the name of jesus yes sir next person please very quickly very quickly so, Apostle, a very fantastic testimony yes please sir you mentioned my dad case for as long as i've known him he can't pee without pain and difficulty for as long as you Yes. Wow. So last week, he, I wanted to call him to send me money. He told me that he wants to buy a drug and it's over 100000 because of his prostate uh, issue. Okay. So I now put him on speaker when you were praying. I said, Daddy, just... You put him on speaker? Yeah, I said, just hold the apostles about... And you mentioned this case, that there's someone that has difficulty. Yes. And immediately, I told him to check himself. He said he doesn't feel the pain anymore. That is gone. The centurion said, speak the word only. In the name of Jesus, we pray for all family members connected across the globe who are not here on site. The same power that is bringing miracles to people here, we extend the same to any nation, any region, any territory. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for your dad, his healing remains permanent forever. In Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. Apostle. Yes. Three, four years, bloody vision healed. She's in the overflow, but immediately you declare that word, she fell under the anointing and she can see properly now. She can see? Yes, sir. Our two eyes. Yes, sir. Go ahead. What happened to you? Uh, you, you, you mentioned that. She's still under the anointing. Oh, she's under the anointing. When the person came, he was not able to see the screen very well. Yes. You, you know, are the lady. I should look at you. I should look at you now. That I will see that I can see you clearly. And I looked at the screen. It was sharp. And it was. Like... Oh dear. Four years. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the God of wonders perfect this miracle. It will never, never return to you again. In Jesus' name. Yes, please, very quickly. Difficult, okay. Difficulty in hearing for over 25 years. Over 25 years. In Let fact, him speak. He, he said that his wife told him that he's going to leave her because every time he talks to his wife, he always says, huh, huh, huh. Let, let him now, talk. Very, very quickly, sir. Yes. Sir. What happened to you? I can hear now. You can hear now? Yes. I like this man. Straight to the point. No beating about the bush. That's the most important thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. We declare, come on, Koinonia, are you giving Jesus praise? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It will never Thank return you. to you again. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Yes, Pastor Jakes, go ahead. So, Apostle, she was just healed of fibroid. Fibroid? She felt the pain. It was swollen. It How long, my dear? Um, it's getting to, I don't know, maybe two to three years. Though I saw you in, in my dream, was it last month? Yes. Now, what happened to you now? Now, I am okay. You are okay? Yes. yes. So you go to the, med make sure you go to the medical stand to confirm it. Yes. But we give Jesus praise for this miracle. Place your hand there. That devil leaves never to return again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. So again, you guys are going to sing this song. Go. I hope you are ready. I've been so stressed, I can't shout it, but we must sing it. The devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead. Praise God. Uh, my mom, if I'm talking to my mom on phone, I have to repeat and repeat. N now I put her in, a, in, my, in my prayer. Your so mom? I, yes. Where is she? She's in Ogun State. Ogun State? Yes, sir. So after you said that, uh, we should sit down with that, uh, uh, anybody that has prayer testimony. Yes. Mom, I, I called her and I was telling her that, Mommy, I put you in prayer. Can you hear me now? She said she can hear. I can hear very well. I can hear. Praise my God. In the name of Jesus, that miracle becomes perfected forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Next person, very quickly. Apostle. Okay, yeah. This is a 16-year-old girl. 16-year-old. And she has been lactating for the past five months. Oh, my God. What in the world is this one now? But God 16 just years. Her. Yes, sir. And the medical Medically, let the doctor yeah. talk. Yes, so she told me that she has been lactating and she's been having breast pain. So I took her to the medical center and I expressed her breast. There was no pain and there was no discharge. Okay. Look at this. Let me see the lady. Don't be ashamed, my dear. 16 years. Look at how wicked the devil is. A small girl like this. 
Oh God of signs and wonders, save your redeemer, come and manifest your power. You have manifested your power. You have manifested your power. My dear, what's your name? What's her name? Don't cry. My name is Gift. Gift? Yes. May you be a gift to our world. We bless you and we declare that satanic thing, whatever is wrong with your body that is resulting to that, you are healed forever. And you will go and excel in school. You will be an exceptional child in the name of Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. Apostle, this is a lump of several miracles here. Pain in the neck, pain in the hand, pain in the chest. They are all healed all kinds by of, the power of God. Okay, all kinds of pain from your head to your toe. Whether it's head, back, once it is pain. In the name of Jesus, we give Jesus thanks for this supernatural manifestation. You are healed. It will never return again. Let's shout amen. amen. So, once I've mentioned your case, you can go back rejoicing in Jesus' name. Apostle, you gave a word of knowledge of someone with pain behind her eyes. Pain behind growth, your growth, eyes. Growth behind growth. the eyes. Let she has speak. had it for five years. Okay, since 2021, I've been having pains behind my eyes. I yes. can't really see. I'm sensitive to light. So when I went to the doctor, they checked me and they said, there is a growth behind your eyes. Maybe your pituitary gland is getting enlarged. And since then, I've been wearing glasses. I can't see natural artificial light. I'm always bringing water to my eyes. That's why I wear glasses. But I, I can't see any distance. But light is very sensitive to my eyes. But right now? But right now, I can't see any light. Do you feel any pain? Just a little. In the name of eyes. Jesus, let that little go. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We give Jesus praise. Pastor Jake, you ready? Let's take from. Is he fine? Yes, sir. Something is wrong. The mic? Oh, dear. Okay. Let's take one or two there. Who is ready now? Sir. Technical work on our mic. Yes. Stiffness in the neck. Let him speak. What's your name, sir? Apostle, my name is Frank Etuk. Yes, please. I came to this place with a stiff neck. I could not, if I were to talk to this sister now, I will just do like this, I could not. But Apostle, look at this. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Come on, Koinonia. Give Jesus praise. I, I Come and manifest like your presence. Yes. Sir, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. This is how you will go back. You will look left and look right and see blessings waiting for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. Is the mic working now? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, so this is my little brother. When he was two... How can you call him little? Say okay, younger brother. My... This boy is not little. <laughs> my younger brother. Uh-huh. When he was two, we were playing. So, compass entered his right eye. Come again. When we were little... Yes. We were playing. So, compass... Co Compass from Matset. Oh, compass from Matset. Yes. My and goodness. Entered his right eye. So he had to travel so for surgery and they changed his lens. So now, as you mentioned the case of someone that could not see from afar, that could not see you clearly. Yes. He said he can now see clearly. You can see me now. Look at this miracle. As a young man, compass from Matset hurt his eyes. He went for surgery, changed his lens. And right now, place your hand on your eyes. Let me pray for you. Father, this miracle remains permanent. Are you celebrating what Jesus is doing here tonight? In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. Very quickly, next person, God bless you. Apostle, you mentioned that somebody that has a boy inside the eye is not outside. So I've had the problem for over 10 years now. And sometimes, pulse used to come from the inside of the eye. So when I came for the program, I, I was not seeing clearly. It seems as if they use white leather to cover my eyes. But when you mention the case, I hold my eye, the, the pen disappear, and I can see this side now. But before... Oh, you went, couldn't see this direction? Yes. My goodness. What do we tell Jesus for these kinds of things? <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands over this, your lovely daughter. This miracle that has happened to her remains permanent forever. In the name of Jesus. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. When I came to church this morning, I had very painful sore throat. Yes. And I was feeling headache, like terrible headache. 
But immediately you prayed for us, everything just vanished. And Gone completely. Yes, I declare it remains permanent for you Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. Apostle, as you ask us to shout, scream Jesus, I was having a sore throat here and the pain, it was so swollen. So I just mentioned Jesus before I could realize everything disappeared. Now, listen, let me show you what God is saying through these miracles. Number one, God is restoring vision. Yeah. Number two, God is restoring your voice. Yeah. Your voice is where your relevance is. Yeah. When the devil fights your voice, he asks John, he says, who are you? He says, I'm the voice of one calling. Are we together? Number three, God is giving you the ability. Watch this now. He told Abraham, he says, look left, right, northwards, southwards, eastwards. God is broadening your horizon. These miracles are not just body miracles. They are also prophetic messages. That's why God is re-emphasizing again. Once I have spoken, but it's your responsibility to hear and hear again. Are we together? Yes. And right now it's gone. In the name of Jesus, it remains permanent for you. Let's see if we can have three or four. My goodness, we have to walk Apostle, with time. Five years pain in the nails, heal pain Let's in the nail. How long? Five years, sir. Five, five years. years. What couldn't you do? I couldn't bend. Even when I was walking on the stairs, this it, it was difficult. It was difficult. Try bending. Go. Look at this. And he's tall, so it's not really very easy. I was shocked. I, I was shocked. I had to test it upstairs over and over, even on the stairs while coming down, just to be sure that it was gone. Jesus for you, sent with love from heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, it remains permanent. Yes, please. The doctor has the testimony. Ah, doctor yourself. Yes. That's right. I took some medication last week and I started having gastritis. I was in so much pain and discomfort. I had to eat frequently. So I came to church with the pain. I was just coping. But when you were ministering, before you started praying, when you were talking about the four things that's happening to the church, while you were saying it, I was already under the anointing. And then when I, I got up, the pain is gone. It's gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. It remains permanent. Your healing. In Jesus name yes please the doctor will want to speak for this person please very quickly so she, she has a um, mystenia gravis diagnosed about three years ah. now doctors 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 we love you you read well what in the world does that mean she, huh? she's unable, unable to raise her hands up you mentioned that case unable to raise her hands up oh that is it <laughs> that long thing no I'm, I'm joking I mean come on it's good to be knowledgeable <laughs> did you hear the name and then when you minister, she's now able to lift her hands, but she wants to speak for herself. Go ahead, one minute. In fact, uh, 10 seconds. Go the straight. The weakness is my general body. But when you asked me to lift my hand, I was able to lift it up to five times. My legs are still shaking, but I know that by God's grace... I'm oh, your, your whole body? Yes, it's the whole body. This is her mother. Her mother is here. Oh, Mama, you're her mother? Yes, sir. Well, how has it been before now? So we went to hospital. They said she has mysteria gravis. So she has weakness of body. Oh, that thing the doctor mentioned. Yes, that was what the doctor said. But I know with God. That one In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we decree and declare, Mama, I pray for both you and the daughter. Let the power of God rest on you. We bring perfection to this condition. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I'm praying for your waist there. Eh? Back pain. In Jesus' name. You are standing for your daughter, but I rebuke, I rebuke back pain. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. So, sir, we have one more testimony here. Okay. Then we, with, with your permission, okay, please. Please, with all pleasure. Line. Let's see. It's all right. It's Don't be in a rush to go. There are, well, you can go if you want to, but we are going to speak over people this night. Yes, go ahead. It's all right. My name is Abba Gebre. For the more, for more than five years now, I've been having pain in this, my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But pain? I, yes, pain in my right ear. So I couldn't hear clearly. But when Apostle was listing the menu of what you can achieve in the miracle service, that the power to heal is available here. Immediately, I just hear a pop on my ear and immediately I started hearing. That's it. In the name of Jesus, my friend, let the power of God touch you now, bringing you life perfection. It never returns again in Jesus' name. Yes, please. So we have these testimonies from those online. This is from Elisa from USA. I got healed of a right shoulder tear that causes pain for me over the year. 
I got healed right now. Apostle, you mentioned the shoulder case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much. You are watching. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. This is from Port Harcourt. This is from Joy in Port Harcourt. She says, God is good. I was already dozing off from trying to escape the stomach pain. I was having, I was having while watching today's service. Apostle said, you are supporting yourself with a pillow. And your hands are on your stomach. Immediately, I got healed. Glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, Port Harcourt, healing comes for you. Yeah. We have one more from someone watching from Abuja here. The person says, I want to return all glory to God for my supernatural healing. I had my baby via cesarean section two months ago. They said there's a back pain that comes with it and that I have to forbear. I refuse to bear. When apostle mentioned that we should check ourselves, I bent over and started checking myself. And there is no pain whatsoever. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus praise. Okay, let's take two or just about two or so because we're going to pray. There are lots of requests here. Go our ahead. mommy came in from Manabra. This Ma is her son. Okay. Difficulty in walking for 10 years. 10 years. So the son had to travel home to go and bring her for this. Oh, he brought her here. Mama, let her speak. What happened? Or the boy, whichever. Yeah, she has been having this leg pain for more than 10 years. And we've spent a lot of money in the hospital. Just last month, we finished treating it. Then she called me again that the thing has started. I even had it in my dream. You came all the way from the yeah, east? From, uh, yeah, today we arrived today. So why my come in? She couldn't walk well. So, but immediately after the prayer, she, it was, she had a knock on her leg. So everything now sees, even her chest pain. So Mommy, she, look at me. Mama, walk. Look at this. Let me tell you the truth. Listen, let me teach you something. Results are very powerful. Honestly, results are very powerful. They have a unique ability to exalt the name of Jesus and to bring glory to the saints. I'm praying, Mama, in the name of Jesus, you will go back to the east and you will tell every one of them that Jesus is alive. And for the gentleman who brought your mother here, may God honor you and position destiny helpers around your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we take the final one? The norm, pains in the neck, pain pains in, the chest, in Jesus' eye name. Conditions healed. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. Everybody rise, please. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands, everybody, by faith. That includes those watching online, watching from television. Go ahead. If there are still requests coming, please. This is our final miracle service for 2023. Not the final service, by the way. I hope you know that. We we'll announce for the final service. We still have about um, three weeks or thereabout. Hallelujah. Go ahead and begin to speak over these requests. It's the most accurate representation of your desires. Remember what I told you? When your desires and expectations are defined, then you are able to receive. Someone is praying. I'll bow my knees as I pray, whilst you also pray right there. Go ahead and pray. Father, manifest your power over these requests in the name of Jesus thousands of requests from across the globe we declare by the spirit of the living God father visit people restoration in the name of Jesus financial upliftments fruitfulness sing that song one time for us while we pray in the spirit Go ahead, everybody, you are praying. Shabra deba la kora siyada. Karatos kabra deba rados kaliata. Embratos odo bashaka regedech. Kaba rados odo balaka praska jabra degede balesh. Embra parus sabi balaka siyada. Shabra deba legete balaka balaka. Come and manifest your power today, today. Oh, 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 today, oh, 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 today, oh, today, oh, today, oh, 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 today, oh, today, oh, 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 today, oh, 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 today, oh, 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 
please help me appreciate Reverend Sam. I will invite him to just come and speak over the requests and then he'll speak over our lives and then we'll wrap up. Give him a big God bless you. Give him a big God bless you. Give him a big God bless you. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Can we just stretch our hands in this direction over this request? Father, we thank you. You're the God that answers prayer. There are no impossibilities before you. We spread our hands over this request. And with the amen of the saints, we decree and declare, contentions over your promotion is over. When Apostle was praying, that was one of the things that I heard. And I want to decree again, somebody due for the next office somebody i saw i saw about 71 offices vacant and the lord said the contention over your promotion is over the contention over your promotion is over the contention over your promotion is over I hear in my spirit clearly the contention over your marriage is over. The contention over your marital settlement is over. I am hearing congratulations in your father's house. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. In 2024, there will be wedding back to back. There's a family here, three ladies are not married. And the Lord said, the door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. The door has just been opened. Open. There is a family who thought you have thought this will be the year you will conceive and every attempt for conception did not happen the Lord said begin to rejoice because by this same time next year you shall have your baby to celebrate you will come on this altar by this same time next year to celebrate in the name of Jesus Apostle, I'm hearing the door of the nations have just been opened for so many. Rejection is over. Rejection is over. Your visas are granted. I see 74 of you. Scholarships have just been released. It should be scholarship after scholarships. Your PhD is sorted out. Your master sorted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. When apostle was praying for you, I saw chains falling. And the Lord took me to Acts 16. The Bible says at midnight when Paul was praying, the Bible said the chain of all the prisoners fell down and their doors were open at once and the Lord is saying concerning your request here doors are opened unto you now the door of your lifting has just been opened the door of your advancement has just been opened the door of a career change has just been opened the door of finances have just been opened. The door of finances have just been opened. You are coming out of debts. You are paying off your debts. The door of joy has just been opened for you. The door of a turnaround has just been opened unto you. 
every request represented here one after the other I decree back to back answers back to back answers back to back answers back to back answers you will return to testify on this altar in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know what family it is but the Lord said you have been crying to him because of premature death and the Lord said the door of premature death has just been closed in your family the door of premature death has just been closed in your family Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We're giving the glory and the praise for this request. We're giving the honor and the adoration for this request. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for children. Thank you for open doors. Thank you for turnarounds. Thank you for promotion. There is a military officer here the Lord said your promotion has just been released we we'll give you the praise and the glory let your name forever be praised the Lord just said I should declare this over some people here I'm hearing the word finishing now listen listen there are people under the sound of my voice you are I'm seeing so many projects that have been started but somewhere you got stuck and you couldn't you got stored you just couldn't finish and I'm hearing it's a pattern in the family they start things they don't finish they start things they don't finish whosoever you are inside and outside the Bible says and Solomon finished the building and Solomon completed the building with your hand upon your head and your amen so loud receive the finishing anointing with your hand upon your head and your amen so loud receive the finishing anointing receive the finishing anointing As I leave you, I mean, I'm just hearing apostle, I'm hearing, and David recovered all. <laughs> Please, I don't know your name. I wish I can put your name there. But for all these requests, recover all. Recover lost time. Recover lost opportunity. Recover the years that can't come on my second. Recover the years the locals have taken. On this altar, we decree and declare, recover all. Hallelujah. Let's give Reverend Sam a big, big God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Just, just three prayers I need to speak over your life. If you brought any point of contact, lift it up now. I want to speak whether your documents, whether whatever, if there's nothing, just lift your hands. I want to pray for you. In the name that is above all names, I decree and I declare over your various points of contact, inside and outside, let an unction from heaven rest upon it and with these points of contact, strange testimonies now. Strange testimonies now strange testimonies now in the name of Jesus Christ can I declare favor over you every door this is our year of open door every door that has been closed towards you by this mantle this grace you've heard the testimonies I pray for someone who is desperate to see the favor of God in your life beginning from tonight may favor start speaking may favor start speaking speaking in your office speaking in your home speaking in the morning speaking in the afternoon speaking in the night receive that grace in Jesus name final prayer final prayer final prayer 
I want to pray the grace for encounters. Listen, this is a spiritual house. Your prayer life, your word study life, your appetite for the things of the spirit. It is important that it remains intact. This is our major assignment. Therefore, I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, every prayer life that has gone down here, you really want to pray and serve the Lord, but you find there is a weakness in your spirit you cannot explain. Right now, fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar. Fresh passion for the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you with your hands even these hands that are lifted the kinds of signs and wonders you have never seen happen through you i stretch my hands to those who believe in the name of jesus in this season may my god wrought signs and wonders through your hands our time is up but i'm led in my spirit to speak over your finances will that be a waste of your time mm. God helps men know this issue of finances. I want to pray for you. Every chain around your finances. With all humility, I tell you the truth. This is a ministry that God has helped. There is no reason why you should be part of this vision and then have yourself go down financially and in shame. I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Financial shame, financial limitation, debt borrowing emotional stress because of finances it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now receive supernatural favor open doors for your finances in the name of Jesus Christ for someone the financial blessing you have from now till the end of this service here in the name of Jesus, between now and the end of Koinonia service for this year, from maybe the last five years put together, it will be that you have never received such favor. And I say it from my spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God raise men to bless you. May God raise strangers to bless you. May God raise friends to bless you. May God raise mentors to bless you. May God raise those you have raised to bless you. Hallelujah. Nothing dies in your hands. I prayed a prayer earlier on. Please let me pray for you. I place a mark on your head. Every spirit that wants you to be a victim of kidnappers, I say it again, or accidents, or to hear bad news that they kidnap someone and you should bring money. I'm praying, let a mark of exemption rest on your head. Rest on your family. Rest on your family. And rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wave your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. January miracle service. February miracle service. March miracle service. April, May, June. Someone is waving. July, August, September, October, now November. If you witnessed it, I want you to give Jesus a shout. A shout. A shout. A shout. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are prophets that must rise. There are intercessors that must rise. Many prayer groups. This is what God is telling me. Many prophetic and apostolic prayer groups are going to rise across Asaba. Young men, they will come together and begin to pray down the purposes of God. My assignment tonight is to open you to certain dimensions i'm about to pray i want you to bring those people whether you are an usher or not once the power of god rests on someone let's do it very fast so that we don't stay unnecessarily long my father i pray in this place there are women where are they by the spirit i decree and declare everyone who has a role to play in this prophetic agenda of the spirit 
over Asaba right now I declare let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow from the front to the back from the front to the back the left to the right let that wind blow help them please someone ushers get something to cover them eh? let that wind blow in the name of Jesus let that wind blow let that wind blow let that wind blow warriors of prayer i call you by the spirit arise now warriors of prayer champions of the altar women men i call you by the spirit arise in the name of jesus warriors of prayer warriors of the spirit men who understand the altar oh you will be warriors in your homes you will be warriors across territories i stir up that fire i stir up that fire the borders the borders are rising the borders are rising the borders are rising with fire with fire with fire the borders are rising I say it by the voice of prophecy, the borders are rising, Issachar are rising by the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone go ahead and pray. I'm available, oh God. Everyone pray that prayer. Available. Right to the back. Are you praying? I'm available. Let that mantle for my destiny rest upon me. Available. To be used mightily. Available. Available for my campus. Available in Asaba. A woman of fire. All those who are in front here the Lord brought you by his spirit hear me after tonight there is a level of consecration that you are stepping into for some of you you are stepping into seasons of fastings seasons of prayer God will be revealing himself to you multiplying visions I pray for you you may look weak but may power from on high mantle you this moment may power from on high mantle you this moment that God's prophetic program for in gathering for Asaba for the south south under your watch may it not be aborted in the name of Jesus I pray the same prayer for everyone here who is in ministry apostolic ministry prophetic ministry evangelical ministry intercessory ministry the grace to stand strong the grace to remain, the grace to be unmovable, the grace to not compromise. May that grace rest upon you now. The staying power to do ministry with integrity, may it be released upon you. Lord, 
breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. In the name of Jesus, the prayer that you have received, that grace remains with you. You will not lose it through carelessness. You will be yielded until you become. You will be yielded until you are changed. You will be yielded until you evolve to a very superior version of yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Return to your seat if you can. I want to pray now for those who are oppressed. there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ there is liberty in Christ I want to pray now there is liberty in Christ hear me I'm going to be ministering deliverance right now what is deliverance the process that establishes the victory of Christ upon the life of a believer separating you from any spirit or any condition that impedes your becoming and your manifesting like Christ deliverance is not just separation from spirits it is also separation from conditions hallelujah and I'm going to pray right now there are people in this place bound by all kinds of satanic things from addictions to curses to yokes patterns that have been happening around your life and family patterns of death patterns of failure patterns of idol worship patterns of all kinds of things it's time for it to go i'm going to pray for you now at the count of three you're going to shout the name of jesus those under the anointing you will leave them eh? but then all those who now are under the anointing i want you to gently bring them out as i begin to pray it's important ushers well done to you and all those who are working this is the sacrifice you are doing for the sake of those whose destiny must be lifted i'm going to pray a prayer and i will ask all of you to shout jesus and as you shout that name that is above every other name every altar and everything that is not of god that has authorized the reign of darkness over your life it must give way now father you have given power to bring deliverance unto your people in the name of jesus i stretch my hands like moses did across asaba and i decree and declare everyone right now who is under any kind of yoke any kind of curse every legal access satan has to your life as the count of three as you shout that name i decree and declare may that access be broken and let your deliverance be established are you ready to shout now at the count of three one two three shout jesus be set free now be set free now be set free now bring them out i cause every spirit i call a spirits of ancestry i call you by name and i cost you by the blood of the lamb i bring deliverance right now i bring deliverance right now let them go release their families release their destinies release their families from the front to the back the left to the right i say it again every bondage that has held anyone 
bondage of addiction, patterns of darkness, molestations in dreams, retrogressions, spirits of delay in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again, be set free this moment. Let them go. I set altars on fire. Let the consuming fire rest upon every altar. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. a spirit sitting upon the destinies of firstborns the ones who have opened the womb that they will keep serving the younger is the spirit that came upon Esau I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant let that agreement with darkness be broken now let it be broken now I release your prophetic destiny in the name of Jesus spirits that have brought poverty over families regardless their diligence they only live by begging from others right now every altar that powers that manifestation it comes under attack now hallelujah he told Zechariah what seest thou and he said i see four horns these are the horns that have exalted themselves above israel above jerusalem and above judah he said i have sent four carpenters four carpenters i have come tonight as a privileged carpenter every horn that has exalted itself over your family there are some of you there are patterns every year someone must die every two years someone must die just when people are about to rise let me speak over those families oh death where is your sting and and all grave where is your victory the power of untimely death over families let that door be closed now let that door be closed now let that door be closed now hear me i'm ministering as the lord is putting it in my spirit there is the spirit of lateness people always do things late the first person that builds builds at 50. the first person that finishes school is at 35 or 40. he says satisfy me early with your goodness i want to pray for you the spirit of lateness that makes you crawl like a snail in destiny i command by the fire of the holy ghost anyone who is a victim of lateness be delivered this moment now hallelujah hear me the bible says do not let your good be evil spoken of do you know there are men and women just when it is time to lift them there is a dark cloud that comes upon them and everybody starts to hate them including those who can help them the moment that opportunity lifts then everything becomes normal i don't know who has been like jabez that the, the garment i'm seeing dark veils dark veils just covering the faces of people this is what i see in the spirit in the name of jesus christ I pray for you the prayer of Jabez. May my God bless you. May my God enlarge you. May his hand rest upon you. I tear off that veil of shame. I tear off that veil of reproach. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Please be sensitive. God is doing something in your life. Hallelujah. That the younger will head over the elder. That was the course in the Bible. I see two nations, but the younger will head over the elder. But my Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shineth more and more. Say more and more. That is the heritage of the believer in Christ. I taught you yesterday that the end point the end of our business in the spirit is the glory the manifestation of the glory of god in and through the life of the believer in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of people tied in the spirit these are chains that have held the hands of people right now the fire of god is going to rest and begin to break that chain father everyone from this vision you are showing me everyone whose productivity has been under attack in the name of jesus resulting to unemployment resulting to failure in business by the power that raised christ from the dead may that chain be broken now may that chain be broken now hallelujah hallelujah for all of you who are in front here i decree and declare over you every spirit that will not let you go pharaoh drowned into the sea together with his people and i declare every power i speak as one sent in the name of jesus release their families now let them go in the name of jesus that they may go and serve the lord acceptably every legal access you have over their lives and their families is hereby broken forever in the name of jesus christ we overcame them by the blood of the lamb the bible declares and the word of their testimony you are delivered now and delivered forever in jesus name now if you are trusting god for healing please you can return back to your seat for those who can lay your hands right now i want to pray for you i believe in the healing ministry with all my heart i have seen the power of god bring healing to people people who would have been dead now you are not only receiving it but you are also receiving the anointing to be an extension of the same to God's people very quickly I want to pray for you for sake of time we may not have the time to call for testimonies miracle services are usually services that demand an extensive time because of the enormity of the problems that people have the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet but sometimes you are moved by compassion as you see the kinds of problems that people carry but i have to pray for you listen i have been a victim of sickness before i know what sickness can do there are some of you who have been told the moment you are 30 the moment you are 40 the moment you are 50 the moment you are 60 start preparing for your grave because it looks like there are sicknesses prostrate cancer all kinds of satanic manifestations but i want to pray please lay your hands and believe jesus i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly you know 
hold on please because of the enormity because of the kinds of situations of people tomorrow is our final miracle service back home in abuja and do you know there are literally hospitals not just in nigeria across the globe and may god bless the owners of those hospitals who literally they just bring screens at the wards or some of them allow their patients on phone just when the miracle service is going on and there are patients in the hospital because doctors are right now becoming spiritual people too and bless god for doctors that are tongue talking jesus loving and serving they know when it is just a natural cause and they know when this one is a spirit and the phenomenal miracles that god has done I, I don't i don't know anything that humbles me more than that that in this place right now there are people some you may not even know you are sick others you know from ulcers to blood pressure and all kinds of things a young beautiful vibrant lady just about to start her life and they say they just found cancer somewhere and sadly in two weeks the cancer has spread and it's about to destroy you no lay your hands and i want you to believe if you are not sick in your body you can stand in for someone but by all means believe in the healing power of jesus i know he heals he truly is a healer father in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over asaba your precious people have come some have cried some like the woman with the issue of blood have spent their entire i'm hearing the word angina that looks that looks like a heart related problem something a deformity or some problem with the heart this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus whoever it is that has that condition that heart problem i'm not a medical doctor but in the name of jesus be healed now please believe it and after i pray i want you to shout a believing amen every spirit of infirmity that is behind every sickness wasting millions of your naira help mama help mama something is happening to her i command that spirit right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i come as one sent by the blood of jesus that was shed upon the cross that fountain that flows through calvary in the name of jesus lose your hold right now lose your hold right now in the name of jesus christ now i decree and declare asaba from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name back pain be healed in jesus name pain around the groin area be healed in jesus name eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness be healed in jesus name deaf ears be open now in jesus name everybody with any growth a lump around breast lump or some growth fibroids of all kinds i cost them right now i cost them right now my god the power of god is moving here someone with severe pain around your shoulder in the name of jesus who died and rose again be healed right now there's someone you have a problem urinating you are not able to go out you you can go there and stand for a long time just easing yourself literally in droplets i want to pray for you this you may not know i'm not a medical doctor i'm just saying as the spirit of god is revealing to me this is the early symptoms of prostrate in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hand over that man you are a gentle man i decree and declare whatever is enlarging your prostrate we cause it right now in jesus name 
there's someone God is showing me you have a fertility issue that is related to man you're a man you have a fertility issue this is an embarrassing issue you have gone to the hospital you've seen a doctor they've given you drugs I'm praying for you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead in your name I come alive to declare your victory the resurrected King is resurrecting me by your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected King is resurrecting you the resurrected King is resurrecting you I decree and declare life surges into your body now there's someone you don't have any visible sickness any ailment but something began to happen to you from last year you get tired easily the moment you walk or do something strenuous you are a young person but you become tired as if you're an old person in the name of Jesus Christ let healing come for you now I'm seeing something that looks like a leather and I'm seeing it boiling and the Lord is saying I should pray for someone that there is poor oxygen flow in your body poor oxygen flow in your body this thing you keep having sometimes you feel like you want to pass out because there is poor oxygen flow in your body I decree and declare right now be healed from that infirmity anyone having problems with your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus let it be corrected now let it be corrected now there's a gentleman you are having a problem you have severe pain around your joints you are not a sickler but you are having pro you know how sicklers are when they start having the crisis your joints your feet you are having very severe it's like a circulation problem in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you wherever you are by the power of the Holy Spirit be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now I see a woman you get pregnant but it does not reach three months you have to lose that baby something happens and you lose that baby this has happened a number of times in the name of Jesus we are praying for you right now according to the time of life by this time next year may the God who gives children I say it prophetically by this time next year by this time next year if I be a man of God I prophesy by the Spirit by this time next year return with your miracle child there's a woman here I want to pray for you you are beginning to feel pain at the left side of your breast and this thing you've been afraid to go to the hospital if I don't pray for you I'm seeing that this thing is becoming a cancerous thing and I'm seeing a situation where they are saying quickly they have to take off one of it wherever you are let the power of God that devil that wants you to lose the parts of your body to cancer Parakatos katiba lakata, ebreke de belentos kia tabarakos kia, rakatos ke berende bege de ya. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I've seen this situation. God is showing me many times. Why it happens, I don't know. But your hair is falling. Literally, you are losing your hair. A lady. You are losing your hair I mean very very significant amount of your hair just falling like someone who went through chemo and is losing their hair in the name of Jesus the same grace that grew back the hair of Samson may that grace rest upon you for fruitfulness in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus every infirmity that will not let you rest I decree and declare be healed now be healed now 
breathing problems be healed now in Jesus name everyone begin to pray in the spirit please bring for me the request okay stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute please pray everyone those who are following online you can connect by faith we're about to pray over this request right now is someone believing God for a miracle go ahead speak to the Lord if you are yet to submit your request please do that quickly we have to hurry up you can wave it and an usher will pick very quickly man of God I want you to stretch your hands because you are not only agreeing with me in prayer you are carrying this same grace in the name of Jesus and with it God will help you to do wonders in the life of those who look up to you someone pray hallelujah now I'm going to bow my knees and pray and all I want you to do is to agree with me in faith you don't have to kneel I will do the kneeling for you holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God holy are there still requests bring them who comes in the name of our God we hail you we worship you we hail you most high listen I was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and that was where I heard this song it was not a song that I wrote it was a song that I heard the angels sing Lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high the lion of Judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high we hail you we worship you we hail you most high someone go ahead and begin to pray from the back to the front these Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever in the next one minute go ahead and pray Someone go ahead and pray. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Say, You're my glory, Lord. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up. My head, you are my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. I know the God that answers prayer I know the God that answers prayer there is a covenant of answered prayer Solomon in dedicating the temple he said Lord whoever faces his direction and cries that you will hear and you will hearken in the name of Jesus I pray right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead 
every request that is written here for everyone who believes in the name of Jesus the one who has shown us mercy receive this request as testimonies receive this request as instant testimonies hear me many of these prayer requests are men dependent that means there are those who have been anointed by God to be the channels to answer prayers I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west of Asaba whoever must come into divine partnership with the spirit of grace to make for the answers of this prayer wherever they are in the name of Jesus we summon them to honor the word of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ and every man who says over his dead body for you to rejoice and see the hand of God in the name of Jesus may the earth open and swallow them I stand upon these requests prophetically and I decree and declare every trouble that has sat on your head I bring it under the feet of Jesus and I declare unto you Asaba in gathering and the community of believers here represented these Egyptians you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ are you ready to receive prophetic words son of man can these bones live and he said only thou knowest can I tell you the truth if you receive the prophetic declarations that I'm bringing over your life you will marvel and wonder at the things that begin to happen Adonai. 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 In the name of Jesus, I speak over everyone who has come for this conference. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, hear me. Every door that has closed over you, closed over your ministry, closed over your business, closed over your children, closed over your influence, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I speak to that door, Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. Ephata, be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, you don't have to bring those under the anointing in front again. Just guide them and say. And the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. Every destiny helper who must send for you. To transit you from where you are. To the next level of your prophetic destiny wherever they are i call upon the god of my covenant who is also your god between now and december 31st please hear me i prophesy to you may your destiny help us show up in your life may your destiny help us show up in your life In the name of Jesus I'm hearing restoration in my spirit I don't know what you have lost some you have lost time some you have lost relationships some you have lost things some you have even lost mantles I'm praying for you now the grace that restores may it land upon you the grace that restores may it land upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the grace that restores, I say it again, may it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, are you ready to receive favor? Father, I pray 
in the name of Jesus for everyone here who believes that there is actually a grace called favor I'm praying in the name that is above all names I call upon my God the one who has shown me mercy let that grace let that mantle for favor let it rest upon you now let that grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ can I pray for the works of your hands now listen please I was speaking to a few people yesterday and I told them something we're wrapping up I want to pray a very serious prayer for you there is a grace called the power to prosper do you know how it works there are three dimensions to the operation of that grace it comes upon your head it comes upon your hands and it comes upon your feet listen carefully when that grace comes upon your head it activates creativity and illumination and understanding Elihu said there is a spirit in man 32 and verse 8 and the breath the spirit the breath of the almighty maketh men of understanding then number two it rests upon your hand representing productivity that the lord will bless the works of your hands it causes the works of your hands to be desired and gravitates those who place value on what you do to locate you and to honor you then number three it rests upon your feet bringing guidance and direction because you can have the right thing but be in the wrong place are we together now abraham if he remained at all of the chaldeans even though he was a sincere man he would never be blessed there are times where god relocates men to their desired place are we together direction is important and guidance is important these are subsets of the manifestation of wisdom wisdom as divine direction the lord is my shepherd and because of his ability to lead and guide me i shall not want i want to pray this grace for you upon your head upon your hand upon your feet let it rest now i say it again upon your head supernatural creativity in a way you have never seen illumination understanding of things and i pray for your hand you are in business you are working you are a, an employed person whatever endeavor you are engaged in in jesus name may that grace rest upon you and finally find supernatural direction you know where to go to you are led by the spirit you will never go to a place of trouble you will never go to a place of loss you will never go to a place of decline you will never find your way to sodom in the name of jesus christ now hear me please hear me i want to pray this very sincere prayer from my heart of all the prayers and the prophetic words this in my opinion is the greatest you are about to receive i want to pray for your spiritual life that includes your prayer life that includes your passion for the word that includes your passion for the house of God in all your receiving you did not receive much if this one does not rest on you there is a grace that causes men to pray the spirit of prayer and supplication it makes you to become one who understands the mysteries of the altar and from there you will command power with God and power with men there is the passion for the word of god that causes you to desire the word of god even more than your necessary food there is a grace that makes the house of god a delight for you i was glad when they said unto me let us when there is a decline in membership within a territory something is wrong with the passion and the fire of the people therefore i want to pray for you in the name of jesus whatever has taken your spiritual life down compromises carelessness prayerlessness wordlessness lack of passion for the things of god lack of commitment to serve in the house of god by this fire by this power i find to flames your prayer altar i find to flames 
your prayer altar i say it again i find to flames your prayer altar in the name of jesus receive passion for the word of god the discipline to fast the discipline to wake up and pray the discipline to study the word the discipline to love the house of god the discipline to live for jesus in the mighty name of jesus let it rest upon you hear me anybody who fights you from today goes down instantly in the mighty name of jesus now in this great prophetic atmosphere before you receive the final blessing i want to count one to five and in that count i want to give someone an opportunity who is an apostle i desperately need jesus listen please keep standing there are many people here who are saying apostle whilst hearing you teach whilst hearing you preach the hunger and the passion for the things of the spirit is welling up within me but i have never truly made jesus lord of my life or you are saying i remember making this declaration of faith but as it stands right now something is is capitally wrong with my spiritual life i need your mercy i need your help oh god i'm going to count one to five i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus as i count one to five i want you to run and come and stand here now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise come we raise the sound for he is god and god alone hallelujah hallelujah now on to the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound we raise a sound over the nations of the earth over the nations of the earth What a mighty harvest tonight young and old male and female only jesus can draw this many to himself let's honor him with a great hand clap for this once now for all of you who are here may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender lift it high to jesus not to a man not to joshua selman lift it say after me as loud as you can and please i want you to mean it from your heart you're not reciting a poem jesus is in this place say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive your life i receive the abundance of grace even the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight and forever i live for jesus keep your beautiful hands lifted and i pray for you 
father based on the authority of your word the integrity of your word alongside your confession i decree and declare that truly the power of sin satan hell and the grave let it be broken over your life and every spirit that will not let you serve jesus acceptably and in truth i cast it out of your life now i commend you to the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified and i decree and declare that the spirit of grace will begin a journey with you that leads you to become a manifestation of the glory of god from tonight you go forward ever and backward never amen and amen i'm going to be speaking over your life the chains that held peter that have held many people in this place tonight is about to give way i want to speak by the spirit of god ladies and gentlemen we do not speak like arrogant men even though our words sound like arrogance it is because we have a mandate to speak his purposes to the nations and under this grace woe be tight a doubter woe be tight one who says you no when men are under the unction that their office commands you listen they speak by the spirit because it sustains the power to swing the two leaf gates of nations heater and teeter and for the next five minutes we are going to invest prayer and your prayer point is simple all doors open all doors not some man of god all doors doors of revelation doors of influence doors of power all doors doors of health doors of longevity are you ready to pray whether you are standing or sitting it does not matter the most important thing is to pray everyone say father come on shout it ghana say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare by your power all doors open go ahead and begin to pray all doors all doors all doors shanike pereke toskiata arika skoprende gete pere susiata all doors open all doors open all doors open by the force of light open by the force of light open by the force of prayer open by the force of favor open by the force of the prophetic open i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus Lift it up, glorify. Go ahead, over your destiny, all doors. Come on, please don't be silent. Shabrika parakatos kedeya shandalaka, ebrekete bekatos kiata. Doors open for the sake of His Majesty. Doors open, efata. Doors open, doors open. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus was he praying first Corinthians 16 
and verse 9. Please give it to us. For a great door and effectual is open unto me and there are many adversaries. There are no mountains without giants. No. The door that opens you to destiny will already have giants there. It is your ability to sustain the power to dislodge the giants and to prevail. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, by the authority that is in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every mountain and every giant stand in my way. Give way now. Go ahead and pray. Give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every time a door is closed, it will slow you down in life and destiny. Now we're going to do this very fast. I hope I don't stretch more than the next 10 minutes or so. But I want you to please participate. We're getting into a very prophetic session now. And I see people right to the back. And let me assure you, no matter how far behind you are, this one, this prayer I'm praying, you will not escape it in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be holiness, deliverance and holiness. Then the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want to pray. When I came into this place, and after sitting down, while the ministration was happening, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw like stones were put together. And I saw fire coming out of them. And when I saw this, I had in my spirit witchcraft. And this is what I kept hearing. That there are families that have been bound by the covenant of stones. Bound to the earth. Job said, in six things shall he deliver you. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. And that it will not hurt you because you have a leak with the stones. The earth is one of the elements that God gave man dominion over. It should not be used against you. Among the many things you were given dominion over, the five elements of the supernatural, the earth is one of them. That means you should not invoke the powers of the earth and use it against men. The psalmist said, the sun shall not smite you by day. There are powers that depend on these elemental forces. And I want to pray and release someone now. I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. And very quickly, within the next two minutes, those under the anointing, I want you to bring them out here. Please make sure that you maintain, thank God for the protocol so that you don't interrupt our dignitaries. Let's just keep them in a position where they do not interrupt the dignitaries. But I pray for you. For sure, someone's captivity, I, I decree and declare. At the count of three, now listen to the instruction. At the count of three, you are going to shout Jesus three times. Once I pray, then you will say Jesus Jesus and by the third time the power of God will come upon you everything that has held you and held your destiny down if God be God in this place and this night it must give way are you ready father you gave gifts to men and you have anointed us to be channels of deliverance to nations and to territories I stand before your people even this beautiful nation of Ghana there are destinies, there are men who have been held by the power of witchcraft, kept down so that they do not move. 
the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem, against Judah, and against Israel, so that no man will lift up his head. But tonight I come as a carpenter by the power that raised Christ from the dead. At the count of three, everyone here who is a victim of ancestry, bloodline, witchcraft, orchestrations of that power, he must let you go right now. Can are you ready to shout? In the name of Jesus, after the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Shout Jesus. Now release your destinies now. Release your destinies now. Release your destinies now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall upon every manipulation of witchcraft, every orchestration. Please help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, bring them out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release your destiny tonight. I open up that door. We are still praying. Give way. Give way. By the Spirit of the Living God. Give way. Who is this King of Glory? He says the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I stand as one sent by God. That every force tying down destinies that will not let Ghanaians rise will not let you shine in the name of Jesus the captain of our salvation be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah while well, still pray the Lord is opening my eyes in the spirit and I'm seeing the feet of people having chains chains not the hands but the feet and they are unable to move in the name of Jesus everyone under the sound of my voice that has been held by chains of ancestry in the name of Jesus chains break chains break chains break chains break in the name of jesus chains break chains break over destinies chain break over families chain break over businesses in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is ministering to me that there are families that no matter how educated they are the doors of employment never comes so you find people within that family but doors are not opening I stand here tonight by the spirit of grace and prophecy I don't know who that person is but I declare that door opens for you now just hold him and, and hear me I'm hearing in my spirit rebuke the spirit of untimely death the spirit of untimely death Ah, there are families here. Every year someone must die. Patterns of death have been sent by the Spirit. I want to declare now. Anyone here that the hand of death is upon, that you will not enter 2024 by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Oh, death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Ah, 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 ah,
Now hear this. The Lord is asking me to do something very prophetic. For these groups of people, you don't have to bring them out. There are prophetic intercessors. Hold that gentleman and just keep him there. There are prophetic intercessors. Hear me. Men and women who will begin to rise from Ghana. Prayer groups. Prayer cells. People with mantles that will pray the program of God. Not everybody. Women who understand the art of the altar. And men who can pray. I don't know who that person is. But I stretch my hands from here. May that mantle of a prophetic intercessor right now let it fall upon you Parakatos help them let it fall upon you i release upon you the mantle of a watchman the mantle of an intercessor the grace to stand upon your watch in the name of jesus over territories In the name of Jesus. Now let me pray for those who are out here. Father, every one of these precious people who are out here, it is because you are delivering them from yokes of darkness. Delivering their families. This is why they came. Therefore, I decree and declare that every legal access that the devil has by the blood right now, this moment, that legal access is hereby broken. 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 Release their families now. Release their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. I speak to you by the spirit of grace. That the calamities and the pharaohs. The captivities that you have seen before now. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are strong enough can get up and return to their seats rejoicing. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Hear me. I hear in my spirit strengthen the weary. This is particularly to men and women of God in ministry. I sense in my spirit that there are men and women of God who are here, but they are weary. It looks like serving God does not seem to have any advantage again. And some of you are about to give up. The Lord is sending me to speak to you by the spirit. Please hear me. I want you to know that the Bible says there is hope for a tree, even if it be cut off. He said, at the scent of water. At the scent of water. I'm speaking to a man of God. You have come too far to give up. You may have walked in error, but the key is not leaving ministry. The key is having some time with Jesus. A reconsecration again. And to begin your walk with Jesus with authenticity and genuineness. For some, you may need to dissociate yourself from wrong, ungodly associations. But God is giving you a new beginning. By all means, a new beginning. Let me pray for those who are sick. You don't have to come out. We're out of time because we need to pray on the request. And then I speak over you and I'm done. But if you are sick in your body, that includes those following online. I want you to lay your hands this moment. Lay your hands. Believe in the Jesus that heals. I want to pray for you right now. Right to the back, the left to the right, everywhere across this beautiful auditorium or this beautiful theater, this, this, this outdoor construction. And for those who are following online, Jesus is giving you an opportunity. Lay your hands. Go ahead. You are trusting God for a healing miracle. Jesus wants to heal you right now. There are people who do not believe in the healing ministry. Perhaps because of some of the things that have happened around. But I want to assure you by the spirit of grace that Jesus still heals. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 
and is about to heal someone now place your hand if it's your chest lay your hands there if it's your head lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest I'm about to pray for you right now and someone following from your home your office wherever it is you are trusting Jesus for a miracle he wants to come to you now as the great physician even the healer in the name of Jesus I want you to agree with me shouting a loud amen as I begin to pray in Jesus mighty name father i pray right now over this beautiful nation of ghana over your people here represented and many who are following by way of television and internet it is your desire to see your people healed agile healthy and many have sadly been plagued by sicknesses diseases and infirmities but i come in the name of jesus tonight for the bible says how god anointed jesus with the holy ghost and with power and he went about healing all day that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him i rebuke every spirit that is back of infirmities in the name of jesus christ now i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now be healed now i bring you life and healing now migraine headaches be healed cancer be healed HIV be healed blood conditions be healed any failed organs in your body your heart your kidney your liver in the name of Jesus be healed now eye conditions be healed ear conditions be healed you are here and you came with a crutch or whatever it is you cannot walk begin to check yourself now in the name of jesus christ i speak life to your bones by the power that raised christ from the dead life to your bones by the power that raised christ from the dead life to your hands life to your limbs in the name of jesus I rebuke rheumatoid arthritis in the name of Jesus ulcers be healed now in the name of Jesus there is someone you have like a swelling around the groin area this is what the Lord is showing me right now the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you bringing you life and bringing you healing the Lord is showing me a lady you have this is not just a lump but it looks like you can literally feel a big mast around the left side of your breast in the name of Jesus as I pray for you now may that devil leave your body now fibroids and all kinds of growths I command that they die now prostrate cancer I call you by name and I curse you by the God of heaven. There's someone you have a problem. is a problem that affects your entire respiratory system. This is what God is showing me. Particularly your ability to inhale air. You have a problem. I don't know what that problem is medically. But in the name of Jesus I'm speaking to you right now. May the power of God touch you right where you are 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 in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone you have a severe pain around your shoulder around your shoulder the power of the Holy Spirit is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be healed now. Shout a louder, Amen, Ghana, be healed now. Can we pray over the request now? 
Philippians chapter 4. Has everyone submitted their request? Who is yet to submit their request? Hallelujah. I want us to pray. Philippians chapter 4, please give us verse 6. The Bible says, Be anxious for nothing. The word careful there is the word anxious. I'm about to pray now. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, Let your request, the request for a job, the request for peace in your home, the request for that which you seek that the Lord does for you. Let your request be made known unto God. You have made it known unto men. You have made it known even unto naysayers. But the assignment is that you make your request known unto God. I'm about to pray. I am a testament of answered prayer. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come i'm waiting just a few more minutes so that we do not stretch ourselves beyond necessary but the god of heaven is about to arise your prayer request is the most accurate representation of your desires even if i prophesy to you we see in parts and we're limited by that which we cannot see but this is that which you wrote by yourself some of you have written impossible situations here I want to pray for you. There is a God that answers prayer. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. If he says it, it is within his power to make it happen. I'm about to pray now. May I request that you stretch your hands towards the ark as a sign, a point of contact. While I call upon the God that answers by fire. Right, I pray now. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the reason. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the reason, Lord. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 I'm hearing in my spirit the book of remembrance is opening. The book of remembrance is opening. The book of remembrance. People who have forgotten you. In the name of Jesus, we are praying already. Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out again. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, you have granted us grace and mercy to be stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom. You have granted us the privilege of apostleship and the grace to speak over nations and over destinies and territories. Father, I stretch my hands over this that represents the pain of your people, this that represents their frustrations, this that represents their predicaments, their calamities. That which has become an impedance to their advancement. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have. 
that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us therefore father i pray upon this request let the fire fall 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 in the name of jesus christ that every prayer request here represented may it be turned to testimonies this moment come on shout amen may it be turned to testimonies this moment can i prophesy over this that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus christ you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever hear me every helper of destiny who must come under divine alignment to make for the answers of these prayers wherever they are across ghana i prophesy to the north the south the east and the west of ghana i gravitate your helpers towards your destiny cases of marriage and family life receive answers now cases of finances debt receive answers now cases of career destiny ambition receive answers now cases of ministry receive answers now cases of health receive answers now cases of oppression receive answers now legal matters receive answers now provided it found its way into this ark i agree with the god of heaven the same hand that wrote this request may it be the same hand that received the answers one by one by one by one hallelujah can i speak over your life now prophecy is powerful in the name that is above all names to my left and to my right to the front and to the back i stand as one sent by god and i decree and declare every door that has been closed over your destiny provided it is called a door i cry to the god of my covenant and this moment i command that that door opens now hear me by reason of your coming to this place any man that fights you goes down instantly pastors apostles prophets great men in ministry by the spirit of the living god may a thousand cubits be measured for you in the spirit greater dimensions of exploits in the name of jesus exploits of salvation exploits of transformation exploits of rebuilding broken walls after the order of nehemiah in the name of jesus christ can i pray for businessmen in ghana my bible says when men say there is a casting down i speak to every one business person here in the name that is above all names between now and the next three months i call upon my god who is also your god may he open strange doors for you may he open strange doors for you in the name of jesus christ can i pray for students can i pray for students father upon the campuses in ghana alongside their intellectual advancement let the fire of revival fall upon the campuses let the fire of revival fall upon the campuses let mighty men and women arise by the spirit in the name of jesus now hear me the spirit that destroys families tearing father and mother apart 
tearing children apart tearing family life and structure apart i decree and declare to that spirit we banish you out of ghana in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare that from today we measure the entire circumference of the nation of ghana and we declare it is a no-go area for you from tonight I don't know what you have lost some of you have lost time some of you have lost things some of you have lost relationships some of you have lost opportunities but I call upon the God who restores in the name of Jesus I shout by the Spirit restore 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 Do you believe in the favor of God? In a way you have never seen. In a way you may have never experienced. If it is true that what I taught you is not a lie. And it is not deception. I call upon my God. The mantle of favor that you have never seen in your life. May it rest upon you now. May it rest upon you now. May it rest upon you now. I understand there are other churches aside from Action Chapel that are here gathered. This meeting is beyond just Action Chapel. It is a meeting for the body of Christ in Ghana. Therefore I speak. Every spirit that wants to destroy the power and the strength of the body of Christ over Ghana, I stand as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ and I decree and declare, Father, fresh fire upon the church in Ghana authentic spirituality with character with integrity and with grace i pray for all the wounded servants of god in ghana the grace to come back the grace to bounce back i pray for all those who are standing around the corridors of compromise the grace to be restored to authenticity in the spirit in the name of jesus My final prayer for Ghana my final prayer for Ghana father this is a land and this is a nation that loves you and calls upon your name I am praying in the name of Jesus that no generation will arise from Ghana that rejects Jesus listen to what I'm saying parents listen to this may it never be that in your lifetime you will see a generation arise that will corporately push Jesus out of Ghana. I am a respecter of all faith. I have friends that are Muslims. I have friends that have other faith practices. I respect people. I respect whatever faith orientation. But I have an assignment by God. I am an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore I decree again. By the spirit of the living God may there be no generation in Ghana that will arise and reject Jesus Christ hear me the spirit of irresponsibility that wants to tie the young men down so that they are not productive wasting their lives away I decree and declare we banish that spirit from Ghana shout a loud amen Ghana your sons will not be armed robbers. Your sons will not be corrupt people. I pray for the daughters in Ghana. May they rise with the strength of Deborah. They will not be prostitutes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Since we have people who are heads of government here, please let me and let me speak over the government in Ghana. I declare the blessings of the Lord over the government in Ghana all the arms of government the wisdom and the grace to administer justice and to do that which is needful that leads this nation to her heaven i prophesy it upon you the grace upon the leaders from the presidency to your members of parliament down to the least keda receive grace and wisdom in jesus name 
Father, we thank you for tonight. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that every prophetic declaration, by the way, the mantle and the grace needed for the next level of your spiritual adventure, whether it is prophetic, whether it is apostolic, whether it's entrepreneurial, in the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, two more functions and I'm done. The greatest miracle that can happen to this, in this place tonight, beyond healing, beyond deliverance, beyond transformation by the word, is the salvation of your soul. Please hear me, ladies and gentlemen, in order of divine priority, God's mandate even for this program is to see to it that among the thousands of people here gathered and the many more following online, that everybody has a chance to make Jesus Lord of their lives. I want to take one minute from my time that is left to make a very desperate call from a sincere heart that loves you truly and passionately. You are in this place right to the back as far as my eyes can see and you have never made a genuine decision for Jesus. Perhaps you've even attended all the days and yet the spirit of God whilst I was speaking is convicting you that now is the time to make it right with Jesus. Wherever you are, I'm going to make two calls in one. You are saying, Apostle, if you give me an opportunity, I will rush to come and make it right with Jesus. Or you are saying, I remember making this call before, but right now as it is, my life has gone haywire. I need restoration and rededication. I'm going to count one to five wherever you are. Many of you will be coming from a very far distance. I want you to run, literally run, and come and make your way to the front. Do not wait for anyone to come before you start coming. As soon as I begin my counting one to five, tonight is the night of salvation. The door himself is calling you. The Bible says, I am the way, the door speaking. I am the truth and I am the life. It says, no man cometh to the Father except by me. I begin my counting now. At the end of the fifth count, then I pray. Wherever you are, please don't kneel. Stand so that there will be space. Are you ready now? Let's celebrate them as they come. One. Two. Don't sit back when the spirit of the Lord is convicting you. This is a new day. Ghana, are you celebrating salvation? Three. Someone is running to Jesus. Someone is rushing from the back. You have given things of lesser value. Your life, your time, your dedication and your commitment. Jesus calls you. Come. Come. I will worship him forever. Love him forever. Because this God is too good. Oh. I will worship him forever, love him forever, because this God is too good. Oh. You're joining them, you have 10 more seconds. Come. Come. Jesus is worth your dedication, worth your commitment. This is what this is all about. I'm the apple of his eyes. The thought that fills his heart every morning, noon, and night. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. With all due respect, let me speak to men and women of God here. Never cheapen and downplay salvation. Never exalt miracles above salvation. Never exalt prophecy above soul winning. Never exalt giving above soul winning in order of divine priority the greatest miracle the greatest expression of love for jesus is to see soul saved everybody jesus healed still died 
everybody Jesus delivered still died what gives you access to life eternal is not healing it's not deliverance it's not money it's not breakthrough it's not ambition it is Jesus perhaps this is a prophetic word for someone a great sincere man of God you may need to revisit the issue of having a genuine passion for the lost we live in a world where we have cheapened the whole idea of salvation if miracles happen here and no soul is saved we still say it was a great meeting no the measure of greatness in the spirit is the degree to which many eventually this is why he gives grace for the miraculous every other manifestation of the spirit should eventually lead men to the cross even to Jesus hallelujah thank you ladies and gentlemen for summoning the courage to come and stand before Jesus in the presence of your entire beautiful and lovely nation here's what my Bible says as many who will come to him that he will in no wise cast away God laid it in the hand in the heart of his eminence to put forth this prophetic convocation and look the harvest that has come because of one man's obedience to Jesus to Jesus someday we will be in heaven and when I turn to my left or my right I will see someone smiling at me and say but I do not know you and you will say you do not need to know me the only thing you will tell me is I am so glad you came thank you for giving to the Lord I am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the Lord I am so glad you came before I pray for these people I want to say thank you to every sincere and every true man of God and woman of God that has labored and continue to labor in the nation of Ghana for the gospel seen and unseen on air on TV or otherwise leading a crowd of people or leading a few people the church is a light in any nation and I want to tender my salutations even on behalf of Jesus the captain of our salvation for the one person who prayed and still prays for the one person who gave and still gives for the one person who invited members to church and continues to invite for the intercessors that may never be seen who pray day and night that his program comes to pass for the ministers who labor day and night shelving away their own pain to see that the program of God does not fail may the Lord bless you and may the Lord honor you in the name of Jesus brothers and sisters please lift your right hand high above your head say this after me before Jesus the one whom you stand before not Joshua Selman the one who is greater the one who called us say Jesus tonight I declare that I love you with all my heart I declare that you are the son of the living God I declare that you are my king you are my savior you are my Lord from tonight and forever I declare my life is yours the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I go forward ever and backward never amen father thank you for these blessed people who have come declaring your lordship over their lives I pray in the name of Jesus that the grace that keeps may that grace keep them I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God and I declare over you that from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name hang on for a minute 
please bring this little boy for me there is a very little boy that I see here I am so touched and honored come this is a very very little boy I saw him kneeling and joining in the prayer come my dear son look at this I don't know whose son this is but what a miracle I believe that this boy is representing the next generation of people who love Jesus in Ghana. I was so touched while others were praying. How old are you? Eight. You are eight years. Eight. What is your name? Edwin. Edwin. Do you believe in Jesus? Yes. Listen to me. I pray that God will make you a mighty man of God. That someday you will stand like I'm standing now and you will preach Jesus to the nations that someday this young boy I do not know him that God will announce him to the nations let me encourage the parents and the family of this boy train him well let him represent I believe that his coming is a prophetic message to Ghana that you will not lose your future in the name of Jesus and I pray for you I pray for you that you will love Jesus that you will do well in school that you will be an obedient young boy that God will find you like he found Samuel and you will be a mighty vessel in his hand may God bless you in Jesus name give him a big God bless you hallelujah